I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Well, you'll do as we say, Bailey. But we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. They're gone.
He's an intruder! <laughs> <laughs> Or a new from Tower Free! I sent Ross men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good, moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure.
Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Aberline family's robust constitution. Two pennies robbing the Bank of England. <coughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Two penny won't be leaving that vault. Where is Tupini? Please! I have a family! He's in the vault, ogling his priceless paintings.
clumsiness. now you will get your cut as promised we'll be rich faster damn your clumsiness sorry sir won't happen again you've got the rest of your life to count it as long as you live You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Arrest them all for robbing the people of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice.
The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? And we can have it all. What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. <laughs> 